señores pasajeros, bienvenidos a Madrid, donde hemos aterrizado con antelación al horario programado en línea con nuestro compromiso con la puntualidad. Adiós. So, over the next five days we're going to work on uh, Don Carlos by Giuseppe Verdi. And I'm going to meet Alfonso Romero Mora again, which is a pleasure. It's at least where I belong, and the smell of good food is incredible. Let's see if my appointment is ready. Laura, ¿dónde estás? Muy bien, muy bien. Ya te busco. Let me introduce you to Laura Navarro, la jefa de la producción. She's the one uh, responsible and uh, caring for everything. Remember Alfonso Romero Mora, the maître de prison, and um, this is what we came for. For some inexplicable reason, the Spanish people go to dinner very late and then go and have some sweets after they had dinner. This is uh, La Chocolateria de San Ginés, which is one of the most famous places for hot chocolate and churros. These, um, fried cookie dough. It's enjoyable. You should come to Madrid and do this. Today is going to be difficult. I'm going to film two vlogs at one go. I want to explain site-specific content while going to Pamplona to show you what we're doing with Otello there. And then the other big Verdi opera, we're doing Don Carlos in Gran Canaria. But the opera itself happens in Madrid. And there is a place that we might want to incorporate into the stage design, which is the stairs up to the church where they used to burn the infidels in 1500 and something when the Inquisition was happening in Spain. So, uh, quite a fancy place to go. I have about one hour to do a complete scan of the church to then use it as a 3D file in whatever I'm doing on this stage. And this is it. The Real Basilica de Nuestra Señora de Atocha. Let's see how much I can grab before I'm getting into trouble because I think taking too many photos here is uh, suspicious. Pouring rain. Of all the things you expect in Spain, rain is not... Wait, so what was it? The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. Whatever that means didn't work for me. Let's answer this one question I get asked the most. How do you get the right footage? Well, we start the following. First, we meet. We meet at the place the director is working at. So mainly where the theater is we're working at or, well, some place. In this case, Madrid. First, we read the text and we try to understand what the synopsis is and the philosophical and the historical, the historical background. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and, and after that, we'll try to find the right images. Let's go. So you work your way through the piece and uh, after you got really acquainted with what you're doing, you decide on the point of view you're going to tell the story from. We're not so much concentrating on the boy meets girl story or on the king versus the prince Hola. story and all that. Buenos días. With this piece, we're concentrating on the historical background and how history repeats itself. While living next to the Opera House is a great place to be in Madrid, there is only one small drawback. Most demonstrations start at Sol, up the road, and then they pass through the Opera House towards the Royal Palace, which uh, makes this the perfect space to observe demonstrations. Those are the anti-fascists. So we need 
spaces that you can recognize from all the ages. Uh, it's going to be architecture mainly. This place is enormous and we shouldn't miss any opportunity to shoot that one angle that we're going to use. And uh, as we're not presenting a historical movie, we're trying to add on some um, diffusing factors. Proper research unfortunately means you keep the group from moving where they want to go. Take all the structures, all the textures, film every single bit, know every corner of this building. If you want to invoke the spirit of the place, just be sure to be ready and have everything that you need. And we're not going to come here again. I'm going to use the material required today to do all the videos that have to happen in this very special scene when it happens at El Escorial, where Philip II is suffering because his loved wife is actually his son's ex-girlfriend. It's a little complicated, as usual. All those um, Spanish drama. Plus, this is a beautifully overcast day, which serves the perfect light for some photogrammetry. In our case, it was pretty easy. It's Don Carlos. This opera plays in just so many places. It's like a James Bond movie. So look at the synopsis, look at the places, and have a good look at the cast. There is Don Carlos, and then there is the king and the queen, and just have a very good look at all these people, and you're gonna find those images that support the philosophical background, the historical background, and the story itself and support the story, to tell it to the audience and make the audience feel the story. Don't invent images that weren't there at the beginning. Just try to incorporate images that make the story stronger. And um, in the end, opera is pretty easy to handle. Just listen to the music. This is the approach you take. Don't think about images first. Think about the story and think about how you tell it to the audience. And once you've got that ready, the images come themselves. Uh, I know that didn't really help for you guys who just decided on watching this video to know what content you have to present. But there's no international rule that you follow. It's depending on your audience. L let me talk about this in the next one. How you build site-specific or audience-specific content. Getting back to Stuttgart, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like what I do and um, give it a big like and I'll see you next time.